It was almost the perfect crime. It was a definite whodunit. We had no leads at all. Until a 16-year-old made a startling confession. Number seven on our list, the slaughter on Peach Lane. At 2.24 a.m. on May 12, 2007, police in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, received a 911 call from a quiet, peaceful neighborhood. Upon arrival of the patrol officers, they met with Maggie Haynes. She had been sleeping, and she woke up to sounds of a fight going on. She went to her parents' room, and her mother told her to go get help. 20-year-old Maggie Haynes said she smelled blood before she ran from her home on Peach Lane. The amount of blood that was in the house, I can understand how she smelled blood. Upstairs, police found three murder victims. Maggie's parents, Thomas and Lisa Haynes, were dead in their bed. The body of Maggie's 16-year-old brother, Kevin, was in the hallway. Kevin uh, was stabbed, I think, 16, 17 times. The killings were savage, but police could not identify any suspects or motive for the murders. Detectives interviewed dozens of Kevin's classmates, including 16-year-old Alec Kreider. Alec Kreider was mentioned as a close friend of Kevin's. He was very concerned, very upset. Kreider seemed like a typical high school sophomore. The middle of three children, Alec did well in school and had plenty of friends. Reportedly, Kreider ate lunch with Kevin almost every day. Everyone knew that he was close friends with Kevin. He received a lot of sympathy. But Alec was hiding a dark side. He uh, is a good liar. He actually uh, tried to divert suspicion away from himself by giving three names of people that he said well, these people picked on Kevin Haynes. Detectives had no reason to suspect Kreider. The investigation moved on. Then on June 5th, police were called to Kreider's home. Alec had a gun and was threatening to kill himself. According to Detective Alan Lead, the 16-year-old was upset about a recent breakup. He was depressed because he was close friends with Kevin. But the issue that particular night was his girlfriend. She did not want the kind of relationship that Alec had desired. Alec was taken into custody for his own safety. He was involuntarily committed. Uh, at a mental facility. A week later, Alec was still being evaluated when he revealed a terrible secret to his hospital counselor. Alec said that he was responsible for the Haynes family murders. The counselor then summoned mother and father and said, Alec has something he needs to tell you. On June 14th, Alec's father, Timothy Kreider, informed authorities of his son's confession and handed over the murder weapon. Tim met us at his house, and Alec had told him which knife he had used, and Tim turned that over to us. On June 16th, Detective Alan Lead obtained an arrest warrant. The defendant, Alec Kreider, has been arrested and charged with three counts of criminal homicide. Subsequent to us arresting him, we had the opportunity to review his journals. He refers numerous times to his need to kill, his want to kill, his murderous thoughts. With the help of police, prosecutor Craig Stedman recreated what happened that bloody night on Peach Lane. Dressed in black, Alex slipped into the Haynes house through an unlocked door. He entered the bedroom of Tom and Lisa Haynes. Tom Haynes had suffered two uh, stab wounds to his chest and died rather quickly. Lisa Haynes suffered a serious stab wound to the left side of her abdomen, but she was still alive. According to Stedman's scenario, Alec walked down the hallway to Kevin's bedroom. That's where most of the bloodletting was done. Kevin was in bed when he was attacked. Kevin fought a terrible fight for his life in that room. His face was ripped open, his throat was ripped open. He managed to get to the hallway before he finally collapsed from loss of blood and died. The sound of the fight woke Maggie Haynes, who raced into her parents' bedroom. Maggie's mother, Lisa, was still alive at that point. Her mother tells her to go get help. Her mother saves Maggie's life by telling her to do that. Maggie runs down the stairs and ran across the street. After killing Kevin, Alec returned to the parents' bedroom and finished off the mother. Then the 16-year-old fled the scene before police arrived. Alec Kreider pleaded guilty to the Haynes family murders. I have suffered so much because of him. On June 17, 2008, Alec received three consecutive life sentences without parole. One mystery still remained. Why did the 16-year-old kill his best friend and his best friend's parents? There's no known 
reason why he did it. The judge specifically asked him uh, boy, a number of times, you know, why did you do this? He never had anything to say. And to this day, uh, it's his little secret. But police did find a disturbing note in Alec Kreider's bedroom. He wrote, Alexander was born on May 12th at 3.30, 2007. Now, that's right after he came back from the murder, so he's declared himself a new man. And I think he enjoyed it. I think he would have done it again.